all right guys in this video we will talk about Alfria authentication so Alfria authentication is a protocol which is based on semaphore and basically the advantage of using such kind of authentication is that it's completely decentralized so that any web 2 or any web 3 platform integrating this type of authentication they can be more transparent with the users so how it is authenticating the users plus they don't have to deal with storing the passwords and all those infrastructure to secure the password on their systems and on their database basically and this is secured by zero knowledge proof one other advantage is that using such protocol will provide faster integration like users doesn't need to depend on in case of say google sign in or facebook sign in they need to apply for an app then they will have to wait for approval and then they can implement single sign on based on google and facebook but in this scenario we don't have to wait developers can easily integrate alfria in a matter of like five minutes and users will have complete control over their identity they can block access anytime they want um, they can remove or deauthenticate app for uh, authenticating them on their platform now the way this works is that any user which is trying to authenticate on any web3 or web2 platform which has already um, implemented l3 authentication what they need to do is they need to register themselves which is one time registration of their zero knowledge identity and then they need to during authentication they need to provide a zero knowledge id proof which will be verified on the smart contract smart contract will then generate an auth token this auth token along with the uuid which is a unique user id so that uh, across platforms a particular user can be identified using this unique id along with the auth token is shared with the web 2 or web 3 platform and then they will validate it on the smart contract whether this user is authenticated and is a legitimate user and then once it's validated then the user is granted access on that platform so let's see how it works um, so currently this is on harmony testnet <coughs> so let me connect my wallet um, so as you can see i'm currently connected via harmony testnet in metamask and so let me try to register myself and create a new identity so basically we are what we are doing here is that we have an identity nullifier and identity trapdoor uh, let me just copy this and save it here so we have identity nullifier and identity trapdoor um, other things are just like different format of these two keys uh, so basically identity nullifier and identity trapdoor these forms your zk id and we also have an option to set a password so this password without this password you cannot authenticate on any platform this is an added security on top of it so in case you lose your um, keys then no one can take advantage of um, authenticating as you mm, so let me set a simple password yes i have secured the keys so now what we are trying to do is we are registering ourselves on the uh, smart contract so that we register our zk identity now once this is done next step would be to show you how do we authenticate on the platform so now as you can see we have registered the identity successfully now we can return to login now this is currently hooked up with a backend API which I will show you during the authentication process um, it's a dummy API which is uh, which just takes the auth token and UUID and then it re returns whether whether users authenticated or not via a JWT token so so this has again picked up my zk id which is stored in the local storage currently local storage is not encrypted basically zk id is not encrypted but the idea is to encrypt zk id using the password which user has set during the registration phase so that it also it is also protected in local storage 
So what I'm trying to do now is trying to log in with the same password that I, that I entered during the registration. So you can see it generated the witness and, and there's something wrong. So I figured out the problem was I didn't enter the password correctly. So let me try again. Uh, what I will do is I will restore my identity again, just to show you guys it works on the same one. Um, it's not allowing me to restore because it's probably already there in the local storage. So let me remove this identity and let's try restoring or oh, let me refresh. Let me connect my wallet, let me restore, I pasted my identity, identity restored successfully. So I don't need to re-register again. Um, so this time I will enter the password correctly and there it goes. We generate the proof, we submit the proof to the smart contract and this is that smart contract call. I press confirm. So what will happen is that this will generate an auth token receiving from the backend and that auth token will be shared with the uh, API which we are trying to log into to gain access. So let me show you how this is working. So as you can see here we have shared the auth token and the identity token with the API which we are trying to authenticate which is v1 login user and then once we authenticate from their side they verify that our auth token is valid then we get the user id and the jwt token and then it says we are authenticated so this is how it works there are a lot of improvements planned for this protocol um, so this is the initial version of the protocol but uh, currently I'm working on the um, white paper so that I document everything and this will be simplified much further so hope you understood how it works if, but if you have any questions either you can leave down in the comments or you can reach out in the discord